Ottawa's new music is CKDJ 1079. You're you're here with the morning drip, and I am the J Man. I'm here with Sean. I'm also here lined up with a musician by the name of Anthony Carrier, who has an extraordinary story to tell with regards to how he got set up, how he got started, as well as what he's going to be doing in the future coming up. Anthony, welcome to the morning drip, and how are you? I'm not too bad, Justin. Thanks for having me on the show. How you doing, Sean? Uh, pleasure to meet you. And uh, and uh, here we are once again, Justin. Uh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always a pleasure. Uh, Anthony, for people who haven't tuned in or haven't heard you, you are building quite the following on your Facebook page as well as YouTube. Um how did you get started? Like, uh, I know we've discussed it before, but just to give a little bit of a backstory, tell me how you got started, where you came from, and what we're looking at going forward. Well, with Facebook, about a year ago, I started uh, promoting myself that I was going to begin recording. Mm -hmm. And I started building the odd group, a music group, and I got a comedy page and, and a few other things. And, uh, and then uh, I eventually... Uh, I ended up where I am now into my new apartment and built myself up a small home studio. Mm -hmm. And back in January, I uh, recorded my first song, Like a Satellite, which you picked up and we put on the air. And I think it's fun a few times. Mm -hmm. We had that one interview. And then I since recorded a couple of songs. Uh, one I released, which is, I guess you're going to play today, is Perfect Timing. And uh, YouTube, uh, I uh, built up a small um, subscribe. Uh, family channel, I guess as they call it, and uh, and done some success with uh, you know perfect time. He's got nearly three thousand streams. Uh, like the satellite has about two thousand, and um, that's about it. Uh, I like to go in the studio and work on other projects. Now, I'm working on here, but vocals. I like to go in other projects and uh, to go into a professional studio. But financial restraints are what they are, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just like what motivated. What, what was the motivation and the key factor for getting you in the music? I mean, you've always had a passion for it, but looking back, you said you're a New Brunswick native, you have traveled across the country. Um, tell us about life pre-music for you. Uh, well, I've been playing music for 25 years uh, as a traveling musician or a traveling busker, as you would call it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I've wrote a lot of poetry over the years here and there. It stops along the way, you know what I mean? Uh, different things that happen in life and stuff. And uh, uh, over the course of 25 years of life experiences, and, uh, and I've always wanted to record. I tried to record 10 years ago. I wrote a song that they said it was way too long. It was like 11 minutes. It was more than one song in one, right? This is what yep. anyway, I got here and I started to learn a little bit about marketing. I watched videos on marketing uh, on how to record. I'm still not an engineer by far. Um, and there's so many things whenever I do want to do a song, it's like so many things I want to put into it. To sure. go in the studio costs a lot of money and it's hard to do. And, but it's all something I wanted to do. Yeah, no, and that's, and, and like I said, everybody has a starting point, even Sean and I, we have a starting point as well, and it yeah. only goes, it only goes uphill, so I mean, as Sean, as you can attest to that, right? So, yeah, yeah and going, going off of that, um, you said you've been performing for 25, uh, 25 uh, odd years, uh, well, who are some of the artists um, that have been inspiring you over that time, uh, and uh, kind of, uh, you know, creating uh, helping you create your sound um my sound okay the songs i would listen to uh i started off as growing up in the in, in the 80s 90s right so back then it was Def leopard bon jovi uh and stuff like that and then moving up into the 90s would have been matchbox 20 Goo Goo dolls uh, uh pink Floyd was always an influence you know what i mean uh, those kind of songs that was my favorite band but I mean, that kind of thing. Uh, pop rock, I guess you would call it. Uh, right now, I go busking, and that's what I play. I play, I play Slide, I play Name, I play uh, 3 a.m., uh, you know, Unwell, stuff like that. Uh, those are my, uh, those are, that's uh, my sound, I guess. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I basically, I play, I can play lead guitar, I can play my keyboards a bit, and uh, but I'm more of a rhythm 
and uh, every now and then I try to sit. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? like uh, <laughs> I, st- I play along with a CD track kind of thing. Sometimes I take it out and try and sing, and sometimes it comes out pretty good. Sometimes it's like you know, like uh, and then you told me nobody likes to roll those. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and like I said, it's just remarkable some of the stuff you put out. We have aired uh, your song like a satellite before, and Sean did did hear it as well, and he even said he's like, you know what, this could be something I could get behind, you know. So you've got two of us convinced. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely, I definitely see a lot of that '90s, uh, as you called it, aired back in uh, back in January for like a satellite. It was like. Uh, the wrong, the wrong version of it. But anyway, yep. it doesn't matter. It is what it is right now. I, uh, even that song, I need to go into a studio and re-record it because the mm-hmm. reason I didn't want to play it again is because everybody says the vocals don't come through very well. Yeah. You can't hear the vocals. So in the mix. And, yeah. and, I, and, and whenever I did release it, I was so... Um, I just want to get this out. You know what I mean? Sure, like, I sure. was so, so sick of it. I'm not an engineer. Um uh, and for a song that you're going to play today, Perfect Timing, it was kind of like uh, the timing is off. It was supposed to be a Valentine's Day gift, but it ended up on the 15th. So mm-hmm. it, should, it didn't work out and stuff. But, anyway, that's, but the fact the song, is, so I, but the, the song is out there, and I still want to do it. Maybe it could promote myself. Maybe somebody can hear it. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe somebody will pick it up. You know, me or, you know maybe, a, maybe a, a small label will uh, sure. say, look, we, we'll get behind them and give them a shot. You know? mm-hmm. But but that's the way you're going with it. I mean, you're getting the views, you're getting the subscriptions, and all that. So yeah. stay tuned, stay tuned, folks. We do have more of Anthony Carrier coming up uh, as well to find out where he plans on going from here. And with that, his song coming up. So stay tuned. We do have a lot more great hits coming up. Ottawa's new music, CKDJ 1079. That was cut off by Goodbye Honolulu from their single, Cut Off. You are here with the Jamie. Man, Sean, and I want to welcome back Anthony Carrier, who is our guest, talking about his songs that he has released, a bit of his journey. Anthony, thank you once again for coming in. And where do you see everything going for you over the next, uh, over the next like maybe year, two years? Oh. Sure, that is. Uh, thanks for having me back on the show again. And uh, as where as I'll be in a year or two, nobody really knows that. Um, we all want to be on safer. I'll take this from. Uh, Mr. Jones uh, and Fred Durst says that we all want to be big, big stars, but we don't know how, we don't know when, or, you know what I mean? Like, we don't know how it's going to come about. Mm-hmm. Uh, little by little, climb that hill, like you said, and uh, keep recording some stuff at home, keep promoting on, on uh, Facebook and YouTube, and uh, and getting lucky breaks, uh, like I did with you on, and on your show at the CKDD 107.9. You know, mm-hmm. that's that's all I can say. Little by little, climb that hill. Yeah, and do you have any? Do you have like any other songs that are in the works? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, I do. I, I have. Uh, okay, uh, there's blowing a kiss that, that I'm working on. Uh, so I probably I got enough material for a full album. So mm-hmm. little by little, I'm plugging away at it. I'm not an engineer. I could really use some help. Uh, maybe if there's a small label out there who would want to pick me up and help me out in the studio mm-hmm. and promotion, because there's just so much work for one person to do: uh, promoting, recording, engineering, writing. It's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you know, it's it's a, it's a tedious thing. Yeah, no, and that's and that's basically it. You gotta keep trucking, you gotta keep pushing, and you gotta kind of keep uh, putting things out marketing wise and everything. Um, Sean, do you have anything you'd like to add or put forward? Yeah, uh, I was gonna say that you know, with an album, there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen, and it is uh, it is a lot more uh, than just you know playing the songs and then just throwing it on a CD, but. Um, uh, how uh, how close uh, would you say you are at the moment to um, uh, having a plan in place for a full album? Um, I have the, probably the lyrics, you know what I mean, to do it. Um, uh, I, I'm working on programming bass and drums uh, here and there. I'm not really a drummer. and, uh, and uh, uh, I'm a complete bass, but I'm not really a bassist. I'm not an engineer. And, uh, and for me to do, really do what I want, I would like to have studio time where I can just go in, 
Uh, not, yeah, nec- not necessarily just keep. Demo site's currently set up for the Port of Seattle. I'll switch it this afternoon for the California State demo. Awesome. Was it That's just you. those two? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But anyway. And then other than that, I'm helping out the carpool to point out just. We have audio out. coming in that I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, anyway, so. Okay. Okay, it seems to be going now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, or maybe even collaboration if I can get people to see that COVID 19 is starting to die out. And uh, nobody wanted to get together and jam and stuff like that, but I'm sure there's other musicians in there. I got a full studio here to record. I, I don't need a studio, but uh, I could ha- if I could have other, you know, bring a couple other musicians to come into my place and uh, who have their engineering uh, talents and uh, their musical talents to collaborate and put mm-hmm. stuff together. Um, you know, I've there's so many things I want to do when I do a sure. song. Even perfect timing didn't have everything I wanted to put into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and speaking of perfect timing, uh, Anthony, I do want to thank you very much for being part of the Morning Drip, and I understand you have a song that you have given me to play. Uh, give her away, buddy. Intro the song. Well, yeah, it's, it is perfect timing. It was released for uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, this is perfect timing on CKDJ 107.9 FM, Auto Awesome Music. Please enjoy it. Girl, 